Hey, this is Damon with Wildlife Rescue TV. I'm out here at, uh, I think it's called Coker Preserve. I know there's a longer name to it than that. Um, it's in Eastern Manatee County. Uh, it's Sunday and uh, this is technically my day off, but uh, I still, like I said, go in in the mornings, take care of the animals at our wildlife facility. And then uh, I go back in the evening. So right after I'm done hiking here at this preserve, I'm gonna head back and take care of the animals for the evening. But uh, the whole reason I came out to this preserve in Eastern Manatee County, and I've done this for the last two Sundays in a row, was to look for rattlesnakes. Um, I love venomous snakes, and uh, I think they're a very beautiful animal, and they're really great for the environment, and they really get a bad rap. But I came out here to search for rattlesnakes, not to catch them or anything like that, but I like to photograph them and see them out in the wild. But uh, this is the perfect habitat, which is really uh, scrubland you can see around me um, with the uh, palmetto uh, scrub, and perfect habitat for rattlesnakes and other snakes and other animals in general. But I haven't seen a single animal well, I shouldn't say a single animal, but I haven't seen um, any snakes. I haven't seen any uh, reptiles of any kind um, the past two times that I've been out here. And it just seems like such a rural area and such a beautiful place that there should be more um, snakes here, especially. But this was probably um, all a cattle ranch at one time. Most of these old uh, new preserves were uh, owned by uh, uh, cattle farmers uh, at one point or so. Um, and there just doesn't seem to be a lot of rattlesnakes or other snakes out there and and uh, you know this isn't a scientific study or anything but um, just from my general experience with uh, people out in the country not all of them I don't want to put everybody into one category but a lot of people kill rattlesnakes because they see them as a danger and yes obviously they can bite they have venom but it's rare nowadays that somebody dies from a bite from a rattlesnake um, usually um, nowadays you can go get treatment pretty quick and yeah it's a lot of pain but uh, usually get treatment you're good to go occasionally somebody dies but uh, it's usually when they don't receive treatment fast enough um, but you know uh, again it's rare that somebody dies nowadays from a rattlesnake bite but I think we should definitely be leaving rattlesnakes and other snakes alone out in the wild uh, it's very important for these animals to exist out here in the wild it keeps the populations of rats and other uh, small rodents in check um, so if you're ever complaining about rats or too many rabbits which um, I don't see anybody really complain too much about rabbits but people do um, you know usually there's an abundance of those animals because another animal is not there to prey on them uh, and keep them naturally in check and you'll see this quite often in areas where people have heavily killed off the uh, snake populations and so very important to um, keep uh, we see an animal running away here what was that can't tell it's pretty big maybe a pig might have been a pig or a, a deer in front of us can't tell from here might see it in a second um, I'm hiking with my girlfriend Laura um, but uh, anyway so um, you know it's very important for these uh, snakes to be out here and I just want to tell everybody if there's not a reason to kill a rattlesnake directly don't do it if you feel like it's a immediate threat or something um, you know uh, to somebody and they're going to get bit um, the truth is that killing a rattlesnake um, often is one of the most common reasons people end up getting bit because they get so close to it to kill it you think oh I have a shovel it's okay I'm gonna chop its head off or something but they have quite the long strike range um, you know they coil up and they can shoot out launch out half their body length uh, to bite so people will try and hit them with the shovel and then they strike out and they hit you in the hand um, so it's often more dangerous to try and kill a rattlesnake unless you have obviously a gun which again I, it's just not necessary in most cases um, there's uh, usually uh, um, if you just leave them alone it's not going to be an issue um, yes there's people that get bit occasionally uh, mostly by pygmy rattlesnakes in this area which those are uh, it's not going to be a fatal snake bite um, diamondbacks less rare and we see less and less diamondback rattlesnakes all the time because so many people have killed them um, I rarely see diamondbacks in the wild now in certain areas where there's higher concentrations of them but anyways the point of the video is just uh, 
I'm a little upset because I go out to all these places hiking and I don't see venomous snakes as often as I probably should where there should be an abundance of them. Um, in other areas I see quite high concentrations but Manatee County specifically we see really low numbers a lot of, of a lot of these snakes and uh, people also uh, misidentify um, the uh, cottonmouth or um, the uh, water moccasin all the time. I've, I've been working in this county for 10 years uh, rescuing injured animals and I get a ton of snake calls uh, to come out get snakes out of people's homes or in their pool cages things like that and they always say I have a water moccasin can you come get it and so far over the 10 years that I've been doing this none of those calls has ever actually turned out to be a water moccasin I've never found a water moccasin in Manatee County I see banded water snakes all the time it's always a banded water snake or a water snake of some kind green or whatever there's many different types uh, the Nerodia species and uh, I see them all the time and they look, some of them look so similar to water moccasins that people assume we have water moccasins and they kill them all the time. They're not venomous, they're harmless to humans and they eat everything from uh, frogs and rats and mice, things like that. So they're really great for the environment and you're out there chopping their heads off. There's no reason for that. Um, so if you're ever unsure about a snake, um, call a wildlife expert. Nowadays you got your phone, you can text them a photo real quick and say, hey, is this venomous? Um, you know, if it's not going to threaten you or your family in any way, leave it alone. If it's out on a trail in a park, leave it alone. Um, they belong out in the wild here in Florida. They are a native species. They belong here. Um, they're dangerous, yes, but almost always um, people get bit either by accidentally stepping on them or because they're trying to kill them. Um, it's rare that, you know, these snakes aren't going to come search you out and kill you. They're not that... Uh, evil of an animal but uh, anyway so uh, I'm out here hiking Sunday um, and that's just about all I had to say on the subject uh, be safe don't mess with venomous snakes but definitely don't kill them um, it's just not necessary so um, if you have any questions or comments to make about venomous snakes I know some of you regardless of what I say will feel like you need to um, some of you will feel like you need to kill venomous snakes and see them as evil but um, I hope I can change some people's minds, but if you have any questions about them, um, I keep venomous snakes. Uh, so do my friends. Uh, personally, we're venomous snake keepers, and uh, um, we'll be happy to answer any questions about uh, venomous snakes uh, that you may have. Um, and uh, you can post your comments below, like or dislike the video. But uh, this is Damon with Wildlife Rescue TV. Thanks for watching. So this is my captive eastern diamondback rattlesnake, and I was just filming a little educational video here, so I edited a piece and threw it into this video because I thought uh, since I was talking about rattlesnakes, you'd like to actually see one in the video, uh, but that is the eastern diamondback, and you can look there on the side and see those diamond patterns across the back, uh, very visible, but a very beautiful uh, specimen, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake.